Hello, welcome to Presume Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 51 of SQL Server. In this session, we'll learn about recursive common table expressions and the problems they solve. Before continuing with the session, I strongly recommend to watch parts 49 and 50 of this video series. I have this employee table which has got employee ID, name and manager ID columns. Since a manager is also an employee in that organization, you know, we store both employee and manager details in the same table. Now, if I ask you who is the manager of Mike, you will look up the manager ID column, which is number two. Number two, you will then take that value and look up in the employee ID column. Number two is Josh, so Mike's manager is Josh. So, we are taking the manager ID column and looking up another column in the same table. So you are referencing the same table. So it's called as a self-referencing table. Now if I ask you to display employee name along with their manager name, then we have to join this table with itself and we know that joining a table with itself is called a self-join. And we have spoken about self-joins extensively in part 14 of this video series. Okay, so this is a simple self-join query. So obviously, if I just want to display the employee names along with the manager names, we can make use of a simple self-join. Okay, and if you look at this, Josh, manager ID is null. Okay, which means Josh does not have any manager. So it basically displays null here, but we are displaying Superboss with the help of is null function. So if manager.name is null, then we are replacing that null with superboss. Okay, so and we have spoken about different ways of replacing null values in part 15 of this video series. Okay, so the reason why we talk about this example here is that we are going to extend this a little further and then we will see how to solve it using a recursive CT. So if you just want to display employee name along with their manager name, you can simply use a self join and that would solve, you know, what we are expecting as far as the output is concerned. But let's say I want to display the employee name, their manager name, and along with that, I also want to display their level in the organization. Okay. Now, if you look at this organization chart here, Josh is the super manager because he doesn't have a manager ID, which means he's at the top of the hierarchy. So, and then to Josh, there are two direct reports, Tom and Mike, you know, are the direct reports of Josh. How can we tell that? If you look at Josh, his employee ID is number two, and Tom and Mike, their manager ID is number two. So obviously Tom and Mike report to Josh. And then Tom, in a similar fashion, has got three direct reports. Mike has got two of them, and Sam Pam has got one direct report. So if you look at the hierarchy, Josh is the, at the highest level and Sam is at the bottom of the hierarchy. And so if you look at the levels of these employees, Josh level is one, he's at the top. So that's why level one. And if you look at Tom and Mike, they are level two. So Tom and Mike, you can see employees Tom and Mike, their level is two. Along the same lines, Pam, James, Simon, John and Mary, level three and at the bottom of the hierarchy is Sam who is level 4. So right now I want to display employee name, their manager name and their level within the organization. Now to achieve this we can use recursive CTEs. Using recursive CTEs the code will become a lot easier. Okay, Let us see how to solve this using a recursive CTE. So this is the recursive CTE. I mean we have spoken about you know how to create a CTE itself in the previous session. So we're not going to talk about the basics of CTE here. We will see how to create a recursive CTE. When, what is a recursive CTE? A CTE that references itself is called as a recursive CTE. Now, in simple terms, forget about everything that you see on this slide. If we know that we create a CTE using with keyword. So with employee CTE. So here employees CTE is a CTE. And then this is obviously having four columns, employee ID, name, manager ID, and level columns. The reason why I have put level in square brackets is because level is a keyword in SQL Server. If you, if you want to use a keyword as a column name, then you will have to wrap that inside these square brackets. Okay, so here basically employee CTE is a CTE. And if you look at the CTE query within the 
as block here we are again referencing this CTE within the CTE we are referencing the CTE so this kind of becomes a self-referencing CTE okay now let's understand what we are trying to do now if you look at the output what we are expecting we want the employee name manager name level okay but then the way we are implementing here if you look at the first look at this CTE itself so employee CTE which has got four columns as and look at this this first query is pretty simple to understand we are selecting you know obviously our CT is written in four columns employee ID name manager ID and level so our select query should also return four columns employee ID name manager ID and one as level we hard coded that one and we'll t I'll tell you why in a short while so select these four columns from TBL employee where manager ID is now so if you look at this query from this table TBL employee we are selecting employee ID name manager ID and then a hard-coded value of 1 from TBL employee where manager ID is null so for which record is the manager ID null for Josh record manager ID null is null so we only get Josh record and you know Josh is the super boss in the organization and he should get a level of 1 okay so we are, we are selecting the level of 1 for Josh that's hard-coded here and we only get Josh's record because we are checking whether if it is null and who has got null only Josh so we get only Josh's record and his level will be 1 okay so that's the first query which is very simple to understand and then we are using union all operator now when you use a union all operator the number and type of columns that are returned in the first select query should match you know to the number and type of columns returned from the second query as well so if you look at this one in the select query so if you look at from the output perspe perspective we just finished retrieving this row now we have to retrieve the rest of the rows and increment their levels as they move down in the hierarchy we should increase their levels okay so for Tom and Mike the level should be 2 and for the rest of the you know this five people it should be three and for Pam it's, it should be four and to do that what we are basically doing is we are selecting the you know look at this look at the join query first we are joining employee CTE with TBL employee okay so we are joining the CTE with TBL employee and in TBL employee we have got all these rows okay so what's gonna happen now we are going to recursively loop through TBL employee and look at this from TBL employee from this table TBL employee we are selecting three columns employee ID name and manager ID but the fourth column look at what we are doing we are taking that from employees CTE dot so if you look at this this is the employee CTE and it's got a level column so employees CTE dot level plus one to the existing level just add one more okay so we are referencing that level column from the CTE itself and then we are getting employee ID name and manager ID from TBL employee okay so we require these four columns from this query as well we are getting those by joining TBL employee with employees CTE and look at this this on clause is another interesting one so you are looking up the manager ID column in the TBL employee table and you're matching that to employee CTE dot employee ID okay so that's the CTE itself and you're doing a union all so this first select query will give the manager I mean super boss details and then this recursively will retrieve all the other members incrementing their levels okay and then so this is just the CTE okay so if you look at the output I mean if you look at the columns employee ID name manager ID and level okay so this CTE will have all of them so let's see just that part now so if you look at the CTE itself so until now we have discussed this okay so let's say let's comment this section for a bit and let's say select star from this employee CTE 
So whatever CTE we have constructed, we are selecting all the rows and columns from that CTE. So let's execute that. And look at this. I get this output, employee ID, name, manager ID, and level. So we are getting the level as expected. Now all we have to do is, instead of you know displaying manager ID and employee ID, I just want name and a manager name. Okay. To do that, we can simply use a self-join. Okay, so we can join the CTE with itself now. And that's pretty simple. Just like how you join a table with itself, you can join a, join a CTE with itself. Because a CTE is also a temporary result set. So for that purpose, what we are doing here, so let's uncomment this. So if you look at this, we want the employee name and manager name. So if you look at this employee CTE, we are giving it two aliases. One is called as EMP CTE. The other one is called as manager CTE. We are giving those aliases. And from employee CTE, you are selecting the name. And that's nothing but employee name. And then you are checking from the manager CTE, you are selecting the name. And you are checking because a manager name can be null for the super boss. So that's why instead of displaying null, we are replacing that with super boss and we are giving this column an alias called manager from TBL employee. And obviously we require the level as well. And you can get the level either from employee CTE or manager CTE because it's the same. That's it. So this part is pretty simple. All we have to understand here is the second part which is a little confusing. You're joining TBL employee with employee CTE and then you're incrementing the level. That's the piece that we need to understand. So obviously now, if we execute this, we should get the data that we are expecting. So employee name, manager name, and their level. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. If you want to receive email alerts when I upload new videos, please subscribe to my channel. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.